Dear learners, I welcome you all to this first module of week 9 of the online course on Introduction to Distance and Digital Education. The title of the module is uh, on Quality Assurance in Distance Education. The main objectives of this module are to define the concept of quality education, to explain quality assurance in distance education, to discuss the various means of quality assurance in distance education. In fact, there is a close relationship or close linkage between the human resource development and, uh, and all-around socio-economic and cultural development of a nation. In fact, the development and expansion of knowledge and skills inter alia is the key component of the human resource development. The qualitative improvement of education and training is estimated to have contributed about 20% of the national income of a country to the improvement in the quality of human resources. Indian economy has been growing at a high uh, average rate of uh, 8 to 9% per annum during the last 7 to 8 years, uh, uh, except some years like 2008. 2020 etc and uh, the year of global recession uh, and it's moving towards a double digit rate it's a 7 million economy we are going to reach a 7 million trillion economy rate of growth in the near future but for sustaining such a high rate of growth of the economy india needs to be transformed into a major knowledge economy having adequate and abundance of skilled and trained manpower the present trend and rate of growth of skilled and trained manpower in the country is not very encouraging to sustain the high rate of growth of the economy. The literacy rates in the country very so have shown substantial improvement after independence. It has come up from 16.67% that was in uh, the year 2009, uh, 1950, uh, not 2000, it was in 1950-51 to 74.4 percent in the year census year in 2011 but mere increase in the literacy rate does not necessarily lead to measure a knowledge economy unless human resource of the country is molded in the right direction uh, for the need of the economy to attain sustainable development the country has to build up skilled and trained manpower and it is possible through the expansion of quality higher education both general, vocational and professional. Keeping these things in mind, we will discuss the importance of quality and how quality can be ensured in higher education for enhancing the effectiveness of the education system in India, particularly in open and distance learning uh, system. Quality actually indicates the degree of excellence of particular things. It may be a norm, a rank or a standard which comes out after assessing the performance of the functions of a particular institution. Quality assurance is a development mechanism that is designed to maintain and enhance the institutional effectiveness as a whole. The improvement of quality is essential to enrich the dimension like curricular aspects, teaching learning process, research consultancy and education, health practice and student support services or learner support services, extensive publication and co-curricular activities of an institution. If we look at particularly the quality assurance in distance education, the present scenario of higher education in the country is not very encouraging to achieve the goal of a knowledge economy with abundance of skilled and trained manpower. During the time of independence and the latest uh, data available uh, in the um, MHRD uh, report, annual report, the number of universities has increased from 20 to 1,113 colleges from about 500 to 43,796 colleges. Out of 1,113 universities, uh, 657 are government managed, 10 are private deemed aided, and uh, 446 are private, uh, which are unaided. However, there are 17 universities exclusively for women. In 2020 to 2021, there are 16 open universities that includes one central university that is IGNU, 14 state public universities and one state private university and 112 dual mode universities in India to cater the need of the knowledge economy. 
Keeping in view uh, the objective of strengthening the knowledge economy, the government of India during 11 5 years plan targeted to establish 30 central universities, 8 IITs, uh, 8 IIMs, 5 institute of science and research, 2 schools of architecture, 374 model degree colleges, etc. besides about 100 polytechnics to build up trained and skilled manpower as demanded by the country. Eventually, the HRD Ministry Government of India has announced to establish 800 new universities in India. Significantly, the present national GER in higher education in India is exceptionally low when we look at the global scenario. In India, the GER is 27.3%, which is comparatively lower in case of many developing countries in the world. Even compared to China, the GER in higher education in India was is lower than the China by about 10%, although it was comparable about 10 years back. Uh, there is a very wide variation uh, in the GER even across the states. The access to higher education is denied to a large section of the population in the relevant age group, not only due to limited seats in the conventional education system, but also due to the increasing cost of education, particularly in the private sector, that is virtually unaffordable and is beyond the reach of a very large deserving sections of the Indian society. There is a remote possibility of attaining the targeted 50% GER in the higher education uh, by the end of the 11 5 plan and 30% by 2020 through the conventional universities at the central, state, deemed and private and other educational institutions including the private players. Even uh, it was targeted to increase 50% GER by 2035. This is mainly due to the fact that limited seats and high costs, particularly imposed by private players, are the main constraints for the access to higher education of a large segment of the population aspiring for it. This Herculean tax of attaining the targeted GER can be made possible through open, flexible, and less expensive mode of education, which is provided by the open and distance learning system. The National Knowledge Commission also plays a pivotal role for the ODL system to build up the knowledge society in the 21st century. The provision of relevant and quality education to all the citizens uh, can be provided preferably at the doorstep by the ODL system through its flexible, cost-effective and learners-friendly modes using information and communication technology. ICT enable linkages through broadband and satellite network in the ODL system bring out the same learning process to TS scenario that is anyone, anytime and anywhere making education beyond barriers. The NKC is in reports categorically stated open and distance education enabled and delivered through information and communication technology holds the promise to address the questions of access and provide new alternative forms of capacity building. Considering the wide scope of the ODL system to provide flexible access to higher education, general, professional and vocational, the government, both the center and the states, are giving due emphasis on horizontal and vertical expansion of quality education through open and distance learning since 1980s. This has resulted in the establishment of the 15 state open university, one national uh, open university, and about 112 directorates of distance education of the dual mode conventional university. In fact, the ODL accounts for about 12% of the total enrollment in the segment of higher education and thereby contributing substantially towards rising a uh, year. Quality is a major concern in providing access to education to all and therefore besides the conventional education, the open and distance learning institutions should start the frontier from the very beginning to achieve the goal of quality education. Provision of maintenance of quality education as guided by SDG 4, uh, the goal 4 is dedicated to providing quality learning opportunity to all. To all stages, that is the primary, secondary and higher, it is the need of the hour. Highlighting the importance of quality, the National Knowledge Commission stated, the biggest challenges faced in higher education, therefore, is the provision of quality higher education to the greatest number at the lowest possible cost to the learner. 
All the stakeholders of the ODL systems of higher education, open universities, dual mode conventional universities, deemed universities and private players should see that the quality of higher education is not compromised in the best interest of building a knowledge economy. But unfortunately, there is a predominant feeling among the stakeholders that some universities institutions are compromising the, compromising the quality of education provided through ODL mode for the obvious reason of maximizing profit, ignoring the social responsibility of providing quality education. In fact, the additional resources generated by uh, most of the dual mode universities through their directorates of distance education are usually invested uh, for the improvement of conventional teaching programs and uh, a very little is left for investment on distance education, thereby adversely affecting the quality of education through dual mode. For quality assurance through distance mode, the National Knowledge Commission recommended the constitutions of external quality assurance cell to assess and evaluate the ODL institutions at regular interval. Distance Education Council, which is uh, now known as Distance Education Bureau, also decided to have a center for internal quality assurance that is SICA in all the open universities of the country. In open and distance learning, the application of quality has a unique character. We know that uh, in ODL system, learners are generally uh, physically separated in space and time from the teaching institution and the staff. Therefore, maintaining quality is a great responsible on the part of the open educational institutions. It should be systematically and self-consciously maintained. In ODL, the application of quality means attainment of the expected levels of knowledge and skills, which are tools for further learning by actual work experience necessary for managing the learner's personal and social transition in day-to-day -day life. The quality is to be attained by all distance learners in a given time frame. There are some areas uh, where special focus should be given for maintaining the degree of quality, say, uh, in terms of uh, curriculum design and preparing the module for the learners in locally, regionally, nationally, and internationally. Teaching, learning, and assessment. Uh, student performance, their profession, and assessment. Student support service and guidance. There are two Another very important mechanism that we have stated already uh, mentioned above um, that relating to assuring quality at institutional level such as uh, external quality assurance and uh, uh, center for internal quality assurance. If we look at what are the means of quality assurance in distance education, as uh, we have already discussed, the term quality usually denotes the standard of something where uh, it is uh, compared to something else. Quality also means excellence of performance in any human action. So when we talk of quality assurance in relation to distance education, we mean achieving a certain level of excellence in performing the tasks involved with dissemination of education and knowledge through, uh, through that particular mode of teaching and learning process. The credibility and success of open and distance learning system depend on a number of factors, some of which um, may be mentioned like uh, curricular of ODL systems should be well thought out, need-based, employment-oriented, and learner-friendly. Contrary to conventional education system where learners are young, having sole objective to entering into a job market, the learners uh, in the ODL system belong to all groups. Some of them are fresh and young targeting jobs. Some of them are already employees targeting enhancement of qualifications for promotion, while some of the learners are housewives or ho homemakers and the senior citizens targeting for lifetime learning or lifelong learning and enrichment. Hence, the curricular of the ODL system have to be framed carefully to make them learner-friendly. Innovative course curriculum as well as need-based courses like spoken English, computer application and office management, cultural history of the country, environmental studies and disaster management, 
and other vocational or ability enhancement courses should be adopted and designed for the learners to gain them a better prospect uh, of employment. Self-learning material both in print or the audiovisual forms or e-forms are the heart and the soul of ODL system and they should be high quality. All SLMs in print forms should have standardized house style using simple and unambiguous languages and learners should uh, feel the presence of a teacher in front of them while going through the SLMs. National Knowledge Commission recommended the creation of open educational resources to make them available to all for capacity building in a knowledge society. The Distance Education Bureau and IGNO uh, guide the ODL institutions in the preparation of standard SLMs with certain level of uniformity. Adequate and effective counseling sessions should be provided through face-to-face -face interaction as well as through audiovisual form by using information and communication technology. As per the uh, Distance Education Bureau norm uh, under UGC, counseling session of T hours should be provided per credit point of the program. It means 10% of the uh, total credit hour should be uh, focused on counseling session in the ODL system for running of the ODL program. Besides, arranging the counseling session through the study centers, open universities and other directorates can produce audiovisual uh, SLMs or ESLMs for the use of the learners and uh, can also plan a live telecast of counseling classes in the form of lecture and discussion. Timely and adequate learner support services should be provided for success of ODL system. Timely provision of SLMs, regular counseling, library facility including e-library, provision of ICT facilities like audiovisual SLMs, radio and television program, learner portals, telecommunication facilities, online program, etc. Some important ingredients of learner support services that need to be provided timely and effectively. The educational radio and television channels like Gyan Darshan, a fully digital 24 hours exclusive education TV, Gyan Bani, a unique radio service of IGNO, have played a prominent role in disseminating knowledge and information among the learners of the country. Even Swamprava is another satellite uh, that played a very prominent role in disseminating knowledge and information among the learners of the country. The State Open University in Assam, say Krishnakanta Handik State Open University, has the distinctions of providing first community radio program in the entire northeast of India, that is Gyan Tarang, followed by Radio Luit, which has so far been the second community radio station in the northeast set up by Gohati University under the Institute of Distance and Open Learning. Quality of ODL system is immensely improved with the use of information and communication technology and in fact ICT drone ODL system only makes it possible to provide education with TS that is anyone, anytime and anywhere. So user friendly ICT in the form of radio, television, audiovisual, SLM, internet broadband, teleconferencing, online courses, etc. makes it easier to provide effective teaching learning process in the ODL system. In fact, the National Knowledge Commission recommended the setting of a national ICT infrastructure through state support to meet the technology demand of the ODL system. This recommendation of NKC has led to the constitution of a uh, national knowledge network, that is uh, NKN, uh, which takes the responsibility of connecting the institutions of higher education, particularly uh, the Odin institution, for a common uh, sharing of knowledge through national network. Transparency and foolproof examination system is another very important ingredient for credibility and quality of ODL system. Examination reforms uh, need to be carried out in the ODL system so that examination system is transparent and there is no scope for malpractices. There are some provisions that can be adopted and followed for certain examination reform to minimize the incidence of malpractices and errors in assessment. Say, a photograph of the candidate is scanned and printed on the admit card and pass certificate. Question paper are printed in the answers book and adequate space is provided for the answers. 
no provision of extra additional answer sheet which is one of the source of malpractices. Multiple set of questions paper of the same objective type questions are being mixed match. Provision of re-scrutiny of answer script. The learner can get the photocopy of his or her answer script on request. If a learner is not happy with the marking even after getting the uh, photocopy of the answer script, he or she is entitled to apply for complete re-examination of the answer script by a second examiner. Complete computerization of the process of declaration of examination results to avoid personal biasness. Good governance is also a very important ingredient of quality assurance. Quick and timely deliver of learner support services, timely holding on counseling classes, timely holding on ex of examination and declaration of results, etc. hold the key for good governance and credibility of the ODL system. The open universities and institutions should provide and deliver the study material and hold the counseling classes timely and effectively. Besides the websites that are developed by its university for the educational purpose, mobile phones alert can also be used for transmitting the relevant information like date of examination, uh, date of admission, a declaration of examination result, etc., to the learners and the functionaries of the study center or any member of the public from time to time. Even some universities and institutions following the ODL system have live phone in program where the top officials of the university or the experienced research of the universities and ODL institutions can deliver some interactive sessions and directly talk with the learners or on various issues and clear the people's doubt regarding the curricular of the open university or its academic programs and get the ways and means for solution of their queries. The future development of ODL system depends on the new innovation and research to improve the quality. Innovation in the ODL system is utmost necessary and uh, so the promotion uh, of research is to be given due priority to develop ODL uh, into a well-grounded discipline of learning. PhD program on ODL related issues and various research projects can be provided uh, to the learners in order to encourage innovative research in the ODL system. Even at this opportunity, conducting various projects, opportunities should be provided to teachers also said that, so that uh, some innovative research related to the systemic research that is the ODL uh, can be done in a particular institution. In fact, the quality and credibility in ODL to build up quality human resources depends on the SLMs, both print and audiovisual variety, ICT-based radio, television, audio cassettes, audiovisual materials, teleconferencing, computer-based learning technology, online learning, uh, web portal, internet-based learning, mobile and learner support service, including counseling. So the ODL institutes need to concentrate on the quality and credibility of various academic programs. What is needed not only the promotion of ODL system but also to provide quality education for all through that mode. So dear friends, I hope you have got uh, some basic ideas about quality assurance in distance and online education. In the next modules of the week, uh, uh, we shall be able to learn ODL regulations for quality assurance, good assessment practices, etc. So see you soon. Thank you.